So if you're thinking about planning a trip to Florida on your own or with a friend or family member, as you may have seen there, <laughs> we're going to be talking to somebody that has experienced all those types of scenarios when traveling to Florida. And we're going to find some out of her hints and tips coming up. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome to Your Florida Adventures, the show where we talk travel news and we chat to our guest, as you may have seen, uh, for her hints and tips uh, to help you plan your next Florida trip. My name is Lewis and I'll be your host for the next probably 60 minutes. We've gone up from 45 to 60. Uh, first and foremost, I am a Florida fan. I travel to the Sunshine State quite regularly. And I also own a company called Your Florida Adventures. And we uh, book travel across the world, but we specialize in Florida and the US and all things Disney. Uh, as a fan, I absolutely love to chat to my fellow fans about their Florida journeys uh, in a hope that I might find out something new to help me do something different when I go to Florida next time. Uh, so let's be honest, right? Planning your trip to Florida can be daunting even for a regular. There's so much to plan, there's so much to see, so much to do. So over the coming weeks, I'll be chatting to some brilliant guests about their love of Florida, what makes them return time after time, and find out their hints and tips to have a great time at the parks, what accommodation they like to use, and what they're looking forward to in their next Florida visit. And whether you've been lots of times or whether you're planning for your next very first Florida trip, I'm sure there's going to be something in this show for you. So if you're watching live, I would absolutely love you to join in with the conversation. Uh, if you've got any questions you'd like to put to our guest, then please put them in the comments box and I'll do everything I can to read them out and share them. So without further ado, my guest this evening is somebody that I've actually had the uh, privilege to meet virtually through lockdown. Uh, somebody that has been very important to uh, the group in the the Get Binky group, uh, the the Get Binky Florida group. If you haven't been, if you're not part of it, please sign up and be part of it. Um, she is not only a fan of Florida, but she travels quite extensively. And but I do really think that Florida is her heart and her home. Now, we had last week, we had the King of Screams and the Queen of Cool. This week, we have the Queen of Quizzes. Please give it up for Claire Allison. Hello! Cisco! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, Alison, how are you doing? Okay, yeah, sorry. How, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's okay. I, I, think, it's absolutely I, I think I've done that before, right? I've done that before. Maybe. One, one of my lives, my one of my 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 Your Great Adventures lives, I'm sure I called you Alison. <laughs> but there you go. Claire, I apologize. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh I'm okay. I'm really excited for this. This is great. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, chatting with you about travel. Because I know that you love travel, right? This is like, yeah. you know, um, uh, this is not, I know you love Florida, but I know you love travel mm. in yeah. in total. And as I said to you earlier, right, I had, um, I've been watching some of your, your vlogs over the last couple of days <laughs> to kind of get a vibe of, <laughs> of what you love and what, you, what you're doing. So, you know, having seen, hopefully you saw last, I think you did see last yes, week's I did. show. Yes, Yeah. <laughs> having seen last week's show, you know, how do you feel about tonight? Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah, I've been excited about it. Yeah, really looking forward to it. I thought last show was, last week's show was brilliant, so, you know, <laughs> I've got a lot to live up to. <laughs> <laughs> be fine. It'll be great. 
So, as I said in my introduction, you don't just love Florida, mm -hmm. you love to travel. Mm -hmm. um, but I, is it fair to say that Florida is like where your right. heart's at? Absolutely. I mean, I have traveled to quite a few places around the world, but if you said to me I could only go on one more trip, Florida, without even any hesitation, that's my most favorite destination. That's my favorite place to go. And what what is it about the Florida experience that makes you want to return time after the time? It's magical. <laughs> you can escape. You can escape. It's like yeah, you can escape the reality, um, and it's just it's it's so different to anything else, um, with its the attractions and the shows and the fireworks and the food and just everything. <laughs> You said like literally like my favorite thing the food. <laughs> <laughs> if like a list of stuff you want to eat. <laughs> Absolutely, it's uh, it goes without saying. It goes without saying. So how many times? Uh, oh, so when was your first trip? Let's talk about that first. And um, the first time I went was nineteen ninety nine. Um, okay. So before really the internet, well, there was the internet, but you didn't have all the resources that you have now. Planning then was so different to the way it is now. And what what was it that kind of what was that kind of first inspirational thing that you kind of thought, yeah, I really want to go there. Has there been was it something from the past? You know, were you taken there as a, as I, a child? No, or? no, no. Um, as a child, we had lived in England, so most of our holidays were spent coming back to Scotland right. um, to see family. So we never, I never travelled abroad till I was fifteen. Um. um uh, the whole Florida thing came about because I had been travelling in Australia the summer before, but my best friend never came with us, and she was like, "Let's go on a big adventure. Let's go on a big holiday, um, to just the, like the two of us before we go." Well, we just she had just finished uni, and I think I was just in between college and uni, and I was like, "Okay then," and we both had we just, we both loved, knew we loved theme parks, and it was just the obvious place to go. Um, so we booked a three-week trip to Florida. Wow, three weeks, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so as part of that kind of beginning journey, mm -hmm. you know, how did that kind of what, how was the planning process at that time? How did that how did that work for you? Well, I, like I knew nothing. I knew my cousins had been to Florida. I knew Disney World was there, and I knew Universal Studios was there. I mean, New Sea World was there, but we had no understanding of how much there was to see or do, um, or you know, we really didn't know anything. And we didn't have you didn't, as I say, you didn't have the internet. You had like these VHS tapes that they post out to you. I think I almost wore it out watching it over and over and over. I could just say it word for word, um, and. We uh, we went commando style, you know. We went for park opening. We we were there the entire day and did the fireworks. But in those days, you didn't have the fourteen day ticket. You bought like five. The travel agent advised you five days should do you for Disney. Yeah, I know, I know. So we got we went for three weeks and we had five days to spend at no. Disney. Yes, I'm like I look back now and I think what a mistake, what a waste. Because we got yeah. a two week flexi ticket that got us to Sea World, Universal, Islands Adventure, Wet and Wild, um, and used it extensively, quite a lot. I mean, we must have gone to Universal quite a few times, um, but. Yeah, it was such a waste. We should have got longer at Disney. And that was in the days where you used your ticket to get into Pleasure Island. And right. they ID'd you on the way in. And they gave you a wristband. And you could only buy one drink because you might be buying it for something that wasn't 21. And I think we were like in our early 20s. We, we got ID'd a lot because... Yeah. So, um, but yeah, that was... And you went to like, there was like comedy clubs and stuff. Mm -hmm. in Pleasure the Adventures Island. Club. Now, we never actually went, in, we went to the, right. we went to the comedy club, but we never went to the nightclub or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. The, the so when did you go in nineteen ninety nine? What month was it? Oh, this was the biggest mis in my opinion, the biggest mistake. Because we went in July. We flew out on the third of July, so we were there for the fourth. We didn't go to a park on the fourth, but we were our first full day in Florida was the fourth of July. I everyone kept going. It'll be hot, and I was like. Been to Spain before? What did they mean? It'll be hot. <laughs> Do they not know I've been to Australia? You know I've experienced heat, and and they're oh, 
<laughs> the humidity is never again. I would never, I personally would avoid for heat wise. Do you like that in the crowds? Because in those days, July was like, just never thought it through. No information, well, no internet. So the reason I asked what month you went, because I went in October 1999. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, you were sensible. <laughs> well, I'm going to be fair here. Like, my parents paid for it. I mean, I was like late teens, early 20s. Hang on a minute. No, I was mid 20s. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was trying, like, okay. <laughs> trying to work out. Um, yeah, but my parents paid, uh, which was amazing. And, uh, you know, uh, we stayed in a massive villa. And uh, but I remember my folks going to the Adventures Club on um, uh, was it Pleasure Island? Pleasure Island, yeah, Pleasure yeah. Island. But I've only ever known it as like you know, um, downtown yeah. Disney or yeah, yeah. Because it was Disney down, down Disney stroke Pleasure Island. Pleasure right. Island was the part that I think you had to have a ticket to get into, but you mm. could go to downtown Disney and shop without a ticket, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah. my my folks went to the Adventures Club and thought it was one of the best things ever. And I, I hear about it so regularly, but I never went myself. Oh. So, uh, so it's, yeah, I just that's they one of them. Phoned you? I think they've had phones at the end of every row, and they would phone you, and someone would pick the phone up, and then they would make a joke out of whatever yeah. they asked you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I think it was an amazingly clever show. So, uh, yeah. But anyway. But anyway, going going back, going back. <laughs> uh, so, um, so at that point, you've done your 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 five days at Disney, and and a few days at Universal. Uh, but clearly, you were hooked mm -hmm. at that point. Were you? I mean, was, was that oh yeah, uh, yeah. Like when, probably in the ferry boat over to the Magic Kingdom, and Ma the Magic Kingdom was the first. That was the first part we went to in Florida. Was the Magic Kingdom. Um, and it was just, I was just like, in those days, right, and I, sometimes I think, I don't have this in video, but I'm absolutely certain it happened, Pinocchio water skied past us on the boat on the way over to, to the Magic Kingdom, really? and then we got in the Magic Kingdom and the Seven Dwarfs walked past, and I was just like, oh! <gasps> I mean, it was fair to say that there was, it was a bit different back then when you the characters, it wasn't yeah. quite so busy, it wasn't the, you know, the crowds that you get nowadays it was like you know certainly a, a different experience and uh, as many would probably say it would you know it's it was a much better experience back then um but so how long did it take for you to have that first experience in 1999 for you to then make your second trip so i will well if i could have i would have gone back in 2000 but i was a student um so it wasn't right. happening. Um, so I actually got back in 2007, and that was for seven days. And I would not recommend a seven day trip. <laughs> it's so, long enough. So uh, Paul has been on uh, on YouTube. Uh, hi, Paula. And said, you know, she first went uh, in 1992 in December mm -hmm. to Canis, and like you, had the same type of tickets. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, to be honest with you, I can't remember the, the, the tickets that I, I had back back then, but, um, I, I you know, it's... Uh... I'm pretty sure they never expired. So if you'd bought 10 days and not used it in that holiday, they would still be valid, like, right now. So, hmm. you know, you're like, oh, I should bought some hmm. more. <laughs> <laughs> so you've done your first trip and your second trip. So how many trips have there been? I've been between... four, four times. Four times. Yes. Okay. And how have those those trips kind of, you know, evolved, shall we say? So the well, the ninety nine one was because my best pal and all the rest of it. The two thousand and seven one was with my mum, and she she didn't want to go away for longer than that because she didn't want to leave my dad at home for a lot mm. longer than that. She didn't think it was fair. Um. So that was why. I mean, I crammed I crammed that trip like to the. I was like, you have to see you do everything. And this was like her once in a lifetime, I'm not going back trip. <laughs> so I had a, like, I had it planned to the, the second. Um, I, I don't think we did fast passes in those days. You didn't do fast passes in 2007. So I had the busy day guides. I had 
like the Kennedy Space Centre on the Sunday, the first full day, because I knew that it wouldn't be as busy there on a Sunday, but the parks would be busier. And oh yeah, I had the whole thing. We had like half a day off, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and that your planning, I'm led to believe, is quite meticulous. Is that is that oh, fair I to say? I have spreadsheets. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Colour coded yeah. spreadsheets. They get more and more complicated the closer to things opening up. You know, your day the days at the parks. Um it used to be when the magic hours would be because I didn't stay at a hotel that got me magic hours, so I would go to the parks that didn't. You name it, I thought of it. I mean, like it's ridiculous. Colour coded, then adding in the restaurants, booking oh yeah. <laughs> and do you use any tools to help you plan? E there's like busy day guides. So the dip, there's also is a, um, oh, the, there's a frog on it. <laughs> I can't remember what it is. I've got an email. And uh, <laughs> I cross-reference all the Disney Day guides to see that they are all consistent. Although they'll all now be totally off because they went with um, Magic Hours and the Magic Hours are gone. So so all Disney Day guides are now defunct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So just one of the things, so obviously the dip got uh, mentioned last week and it's certainly a really great tool if you want mm -hmm. to get, you know, some really good planning tips. There's a massive community there of yeah. people who have unbelievable knowledge uh, mm -hmm. for all sorts of things. Uh, but yeah. one of the things that I, I know you'll hear me go on about this throughout this series if, if the opportunity arises, but I love touring plans oh so that's yeah i've used that yeah. yeah and there used to be one you paid for called mike somebody mike i paid for it and it was tour, tour guide mike that was in 2007 and you paid a yearly subscription and it planned out for you it told you to go on big thunder mountain at 11 a.m because going by the tradition there was a lesser queue then <laughs> so, was, yeah I yeah, like and and that could well be what touring plans is now. So you pay yeah. for a, you pay a, a monthly, small monthly uh, subscription. I think oh. it's about fourteen, fifteen dollars, and then you can go on and literally plan out your days. Um, so that's that. So that's another uh, great mm -hmm. thing, a uh, tool to use. Um, so let's just quickly talk about the way you booked your holidays. In your trips mm -hmm. like at the very first time to how you kind of done it now you know yeah. can you can you, can you go back can you just give us a bit of a, a flavor about how you've booked your your trips over the over the years Do you know it's really weird because i can still quite vividly remember the day that me and my best friend booked the trip because we'd gone out we went to every single travel agent in their town every single one of them we started in the morning we went right through a couple then we went out for lunch then we went to another like all the other ones and it was the last travel agent we were in um and it was thomas cook actually and we went in and we were like we want to go here we want to go round about this date we want to go for three weeks and we want to spend roughly whatever and they kind of looked at us and went you're never going to get all that for that price and then she went onto the computer and they were all around the computer going that's a really good deal if you don't book that we will <laughs> <laughs> believe <laughs> me just like just members <laughs> so believe me that is a favorite of all travel agents oh really uh, oh yeah, really oh, yeah. we were like we were like it's a, cla you were like, oh, it's a classic <laughs> technique if you don't buy it i'm gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> i still think it was a very good deal for, for three weeks um Again, my, our biggest mistake there was we were in our early 20s. Even if we'd wanted to drive, we couldn't. Uber wasn't a thing. And our hotel was um, on Turkey Lake Road. It was it was um, Westgate Lakes. So it, we couldn't. It was really hard to get across to iDrive. We had to get taxis everywhere. So had we known and done our research, we would never... I mean, it wasn't terrible. It was a lovely resort and everything. But the location and the fact that we didn't have a car was maybe a slight mistake because it's really low it's quite near sea world i think mm. yeah so definitely. Yeah. yeah i mean i mean that's that's the thing isn't it you you, you learn from experience mm -hmm. anyway and if yeah. you're not if you're not planning with somebody that kind of knows the area extensively yeah. it, you know you know you know that i'm a real advocate for agents you know yeah. being one myself i've I'm never an not used an agent yeah, and it, I'm I'm a huge advocate for them, and you know, 
you know, kudos to people who book it, do the DIY stuff. You know, mm-hmm. I, to be fair, you know, before I did, I, I was an agent. I have done DIY, but, but you know, myself. Uh, but you know, it, you, it, that's the real benefit of using somebody who really knows mm-hmm. is a, a Florida specialist. Uh, yeah. They really do know what yeah. they're talking about and the best places to stay. So, yeah, uh, no, absolutely. I've never not used a travel agent. I will. I, I have on a couple of trips, sort of priced it and priced it and priced it myself. But then gone to the travel agent and said, "I can get this for this. If you match that, I'll book it through you." And they've always done it. Mm-hmm. They've always absolutely. done it. So, yeah. and you've got that security. If something goes wrong, like a hurricane hits, which has happened to me, we didn't. We, we our holiday, other than losing days at parks was fine but we thought our flight was going to get delayed and we could text them and they were like don't worry it's going it's fine i was like <laughs> i to get stuck <laughs> well we'll we'll get onto parks parks and stuff in a bit you know a bit more about your experiences in parks and and that mm. kind of stuff but um oh the other thing i was going to ask is and i think i know i know this uh, the answer to this one but uh <laughs> Not sure everybody else does, you know, on site or off site for you. It, what, where, where uh, do you kind of sit on that, that kind of thing? So, you see, I would. Uh, most people would say this is off site, and I suppose officially it is off site. But ever since my Westgate weeks, I should, should we say, I've stayed at Lake Buena Vista, and I've stayed at um, the Bee Resort. So that is oh, Disney Springs Hotel. So it's 10 minute walk to Disney Springs, 10 minute walk to the crossroads, which I believe they're going, but um, really handy. Free shuttles to all the Disney parks. 20, I'm not, I can't even remember how much the Uber is to like um, Vineland or Universal. Really, really, really good location. Really good. Um, and it now, now comes with all the Disney parks. It didn't at the time. The last time I stayed, I think they introduced it a month after I left. So, so best of both worlds, basically. Yeah, and yeah. in my opinion, like not as many kids. <laughs> oh, okay, so okay, so yeah, that's what I mean. More that's, for your that's, money. that's good. I mean, like essentially, that's a great thing to, to hear. Really, you know, if you if you want to kind of keep it a bit more adult friendly, you know, mm-hmm. we all know that Disney World, you know. It's made for for you know. We well, say it's made for kids, but it's not really because I'm not oh. the biggest kid in the world. Me too. So, <laughs> so you know, it's. Uh, but you know, if you don't want lots of children in your resorts area, then you know, try a Disney Springs resort. That and they're not like they're a good size, but they're not massive. Like you hear reports about people staying at a Disney hotel and they're miles and miles away from the main part of it. Whereas, like in a hotel like that, everything is literally on your doorstep. You know, you, yeah. you can walk down to the shop in the hotel absolutely. within seconds. So, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so just moving away from Florida for just for a couple of minutes, because you know you have travelled extensively, mm-hmm. uh, and I know that I know that you have. Mm-hmm. So, what other destinations? before we kind of go on to the parks and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So what other destinations have you been to that are kind of similar to Florida, but probably not quite, quite as, quite as good as, you know. (laughs) Well, I have, well, well, we could start with the obvious. I've been to California. So I've been to Disneyland. Okay. Let's not go right. Let's not talk about what park I did go to and what park I didn't. It was a packed trip. So it eh, we could only fit in one theme park. And well, mm, this right. is I'm not even gonna finish this sentence because you know what I'm gonna say. I can tell by your face. <laughs> I might have been to the Adventure California, not the actual <laughs> Disney Park. <laughs> uh, and sorry, what what year was this? I think it was two thousand it was well basically we flew to Las Vegas for New Year. Wow. And we then went to San Francisco, drove from San Francisco to LA. Um, and so I think it was the start of 2003. So yeah, it right. was really good. But we just and, didn't have enough time. Right. And <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing the, the comments that are coming through here. <laughs> yeah, but... I know. I thought 
Danny knew this. I thought I'd said that in the admin chat. You chose poorly. I know um, I did. And worse still, but, we ran out of things to do and we didn't leave the park and go into the one next door. <laughs> oh, serious? Wow. Well, we were waiting okay. for the, the um, electrical parade to start. Right. And okay. So, yeah, kinda... Okay, so then so, moving away from the Disneyland yes, California yes. nightmare, clearly. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we we we've been we went me and my best pal were going away for right this is this is how it always starts we'll just go away for a wee trip you know a couple of days we ended up in Canada for five um we went to Toronto and we went to Canada's Wonderland now see if you like roller coasters that is an awesome park Very they cool. are immense but it's Very not cool. I mean it's not Disney you have to remember it's not Disney because it's not got the mm. theming but the intense roller coasters were pretty. Awesome. Yeah. And it and wasn't you, really that busy. Sorry. And it wasn't that busy. Well, that's mm -hmm. that's very cool. And yeah. you've been to another Universal Park, is that right? Yeah. I've been to okay. Singapore. We went okay. to Singapore. Um and I liked it. I did enjoy it, but I didn't feel there was as much to do. Um to give you an idea that's like Transformers. It had Julian Dragons, um, but it was shut because it was their slow season. Um, they had a new Shrek ride, but it wasn't open. Uh, <laughs> you can see, we kind of, that's it. So it felt like it wasn't a full day park. It had the mummy though, and I, I, I think that their mummy was shorter than the Universal one in Florida. Because when I went back on the Florida one, I was like, oh, wow, this is really long. And it, it must be because and it's it's just not the same. It's like any other Disney park. Like if you've been to Disneyland Paris, it's great, but it's not Florida. Mm. Yeah, it's just yeah, indeed. No, it it, it definitely. And and so, you know, we can't. We're not. We won't go away. Throw too far away from Florida. But mm -hmm. can you give me one or two, maybe one other standout trip that you think you know other people should really kind of think about <laughs> if they're not going to Florida, they want yeah. something slightly different. You know, what other, what's what's the one other thing that they should probably think about consider doing? Well, you see, if you're asking me, like you're not going to Florida, Claire. Where are you going? Um, and it's not a theme park. It would probably be New Zealand. But that's more because of family, but also it is a stunning country. It's mm -hmm. just incredible. Um, the scenery is just amazing and it's forever changing. I've been lucky enough to tour right around both islands. Well, more I've toured more around the South Island, stayed in locally in the North Island and sort of travelled from a base from my relatives. But it's just such a stunning country with none of the, da well, supposedly none of the dangerous beasties of Australia. With if you go the right time of year, lovely, yeah. lovely weather. At this time yeah. of year, right now, that's where you're right going to be. Yeah, it's very especially, cool. now, especially right now because they've got no COVID. Well, yeah. They do. They have one community spread at the moment, but right now, I mean, like literally, I've not been any that like, down that far. You know, it's mm. it's one of my biggest, not regrets, but it's one of the things that you know. Being in it, being like, you know, you're funny, you're saying that being you know, the travel agent saying, You're not gonna book it, I'm gonna book it. You know, yeah. being a being an agent and somebody that looks at different destinations, I'm just like, Oh, there's just so many places in the world that I'd love to go to. Mm -hmm. But but do I want to go to it any more than I want to go back to Florida? And the exactly. answer it really truthfully is not really, no. So, you know, it's yeah. uh I mean like to be fair, when you've got a uh, uh, I've got goddaughters over there and you've got them on FaceTime going, and when are you coming back out? And you're going, not oh, money's for Florida. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, come meet me. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. Well, that's a good uh, point where we can just like, we'll talk about parks and your hints mm -hmm. and tips and things like that in a moment. I'm just going to take a quick break uh, okay. To talk a bit about travel, and uh, we'll come back to you in a second, Claire. But thank okay, you very okay. much for now. And no uh, yeah, cool. So let's talk travel, people. Well, I've kind of made a decision not to give any particular travel news this uh, this week, mainly because there's nothing hugely positive 
to tell you <laughs> right now. Obviously, we have seen that the government are talking about uh, putting hotels into place, quarantine hotels into place, which is clearly only for people that are able to travel and come in and out. And that we also think that it's going to be, although there's a meeting about that this evening, I don't think there's been an announcement as of yet. It, we do seem to think that that will only affect certain countries. The other thing that we've seen is that, uh, uh, as we suspected and we chatted about last week, uh, uh, the new President uh, Biden has put in place the travel ban for pretty much all travel. Uh, he's closed the borders effectively uh, right back up. It's only six, they were only open for six days and, you know, nobody could really travel at that point. So there's not a huge amount of great news, but one thing that I would say is that our ability to roll out this vaccine at the mm -hmm. moment is certainly something that is going to uh, it's going to be a really positive thing. It's going to bear dividends in the future, and that's something that we should all hold on to. I still believe that there will be travel corridors, but when they will start, I don't really know. Um, I want to be as positive as I can and like, I know people have got holidays booked for May, June, July and they're hoping to get out to Florida and I'm really hoping that you guys can get out there soon too. What we do know is that most of the airlines have now put back their uh, their uh, direct services to MCO back until the end of March uh, so we know that's, going, that's happening and I do suspect that they will continue to be pushed back uh, but I don't know. And that's that's the thing. We don't know. So we still need to hold on to the, that hope that uh, these vaccine rollouts will really uh, come to the fore and really uh, put, put a positive message out. And speaking to Claire earlier, she was telling me, and I'll probably, I'll probably let her tell this story, actually. So I'm going to bring Claire back just right now. And, uh, yep, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Hey, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just, as you probably heard, I was just mentioning the story that you mentioned to me. So it might be mm -hmm. nice for people to hear what you told me earlier today. Yeah, so basically New Zealand, in New Zealand at the moment, you live life absolutely normally. The only difference is there's no travel. You, can, you know, you can't leave New Zealand, but there is, there is a suspected spread maybe and it was someone who had been quarantining for 14 days and they think what happened was they went to say bye to someone else who was isolating in the hotel and they've caught it there and then left the hotel but other than that it is literally my cousins are at uni well they're not at uni at the moment they're on their holidays um to, like we're at a wedding on friday on saturday one of them texted me and said they'd been white water rafting wakeboarding you know all this stuff <laughs> they're like what did you do i went i watched netflix <laughs> <laughs> i did a quiz they, it's it's lovely lovely to see but at the same time you're like if only if only we you know shut ourselves off yeah because it works it works and, and then and maybe you and you also mentioned about the person that you know with the vaccine. Oh, yeah, right. So one of my friends texted me and said, um, Claire, I've got bad news, I've got COVID. And they are a student at the moment, so they've, they're living with their mum and their stepdad. And I was like, how did you get it? And he said, oh, my stepdad got it from work. And I was like, and how's your mum? How's your mum? And uh, he said, well, my mum had the vaccine in December and she's absolutely fine. She has no symptoms, none at all. She's been completely protected. The only thing is she has tested positive for COVID, but it works because yep. the other two people in the household have COVID and right. she has absolutely no symptoms whatsoever. So that is just like the best news, especially since my mum's getting hers next week. <laughs> so that is a positive news story. You it know, is. you know, it's working. The, it, it, it does seem that the vaccine is working and but don't forget mm -hmm. people that you can still carry the virus mm -hmm. even if you've got the the, 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 the vaccine so that it just encourages it encourages sorry Lewis it encourages you to to get it as soon as they offer it to you because remember as well she's only had one dose she's not had the second yeah. one so yeah. you know 
Absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's great and positive news. Um, and we hope that the rollout will continue and that we can then get to our happy place, which we're going to talk to uh, talk about again now. So we've talked about, you know, your travel experiences. We've talked about how you book. We've talked about your, you know, the background to how you got to Florida and your trip since there. So let's talk mm -hmm. about now what when you're there. Mm -hmm. um, we've already touched on this a bit, but, you know, mm -hmm. What, you know, what does a, a normal kind of uh, Claire Allison day look like when when you're going when you're going to um, Florida? Um, is it yeah. fully full on parks? You say a bit of everything. It used to be. It used to be full on parks, but um, I've developed an illness which prevents me from doing that. So I have to manage my day. So I tend to do half day. So I maybe go up and go to the parks early. Um, one morning and then go back to the pool and then maybe go somewhere in the evening maybe um no it just depends or have a longer lie and then go later part to the parks and uh, do the fireworks that sort of thing but in actual fact at first I was like a bit kind of gutted that I couldn't do the full-on thing but it makes you appreciate it so much more it makes you appreciate that you can take in the time that I'm in Florida <laughs> I'm here um and you and you can totally abuse the fast pass thing. Although I I, I should I know you can get a pass, and I've never got it, yeah. which is maybe a big mistake because that could change it completely for yeah. me. Give you a game changer. Um, it could be. And was encouraged by other people. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Wish I had. Yeah. But, yeah. Um. Just a big bit of a shout out to Sam. Yeah. who's been ringing around people booking them oh, on wow. for their COVID jabs. So thanks, Sam. And, uh, oh, yeah, we definitely, uh, we definitely echo that sentiment. So well, thanks. Yeah, well, so like, much, in, in Scotland, they're doing, like, big halls of vaccinations. So um, my mum had a good idea that she had a letter in the, the post box this morning because all her friends were texting, I'm Tuesday, I'm Wednesday, I'm Thursday, I'm Monday. And uh, she went down and got it. My dad texted me and said that he's also had his appointment. So they're obviously like hitting. And it's quite impressive how quickly they've done it, to be honest. It's amazing. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So definitely. Do Absolutely. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Um, so, so you split your park days down yeah. now. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, this is, a, this is such a cheesy question, but it's got to be asked. What's your, what's your favourite park? This is kind of an obvious one. Just because it's so magical, it has to be the Magic Kingdom. I'm a um, big kid. But, so what is it about the Magic Kingdom that you're kind of like, I've got, is, I mean, is it the first park that you go to whenever you go? No, not always. Because, okay. because then when you've been, you've like, that's that one of your days of the Magic Kingdom going. So the last two trips I've done, I haven't gone to the Magic Kingdom on my first day. I did I the first twice, but the last couple I've saved it. But there's a reason why you shouldn't leave your favourite things to last. <laughs> right. Okay. Do you want to explain that? When a hurricane rolls in and you're all full day at the Magic okay. Kingdom your last day and you're not yeah. getting to the okay. park that day, it kind of ruins it. <laughs> Having yeah. said that, we'd had we, we because of like my planning, the day before we had um left it with nothing. I hadn't planned anything. It was meant to be a lazy day. And we got up and this was a trip with my mum and she went, we saw the hurricane, we'd had like, the, you get all these alerts, these alarms that go off on your phone, whoa, 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 hurricane on its way, warning, warning. And um, she was like, let's just go to the Magic Kingdom. So we got up and dressed to go for breakfast, but packed a theme park bag. And we walked down and the bus said Magic Kingdom, we walked on it and we went to the Magic Kingdom our last full day in a park but because the hurricane was coming none of the americans went into the park so the park was empty all right. almost all the rides were a walk on even seven to one was like 20 minutes walked in to be your guest um but that's it was because the storm was on its way by three o'clock it was a washout but yeah oh, really yeah but i also right. missed mickey's not so scary because that was meant to be the next night so my that's why i say don't leave your favorite things to last because if that had been earlier in the trip and it had been the hurricane that night, they, Disney would have swapped it for us because they, right. they they were really, really accommodating. They were really good. So had I not left it our last night, we would have got to it. <laughs> mm. yeah, I've never definitely. been before either. So. Oh, right. 
I mean, I mean that, and that's the that's the thing. Disney mm -hmm. are brilliant at yeah. that kind of stuff. You know, they yeah. they truly want their guests. I mean, we hear lots of sometimes we hear some quite negative stuff about about Disney, mm -hmm. but actually. The long and short of it is they want their guests to have the best time. Yeah. Um, so that's really well, good to hear. A, a prime example of it was on the day we went to the Port Magic Kingdom when we hadn't planned to. I walked up I walked up to be our guest because I had a reservation for the next day. And I just said, you know, I know you get charged if you don't turn up for these reservations. What will happen? And they went, eh, it's okay, it'll just get cancelled. And I went, I'm absolutely devastated. I've always wanted to come here. This is the only reservation we could get our entire holiday. And they went, come in now. Just come in now. Oh and wow! We, yeah, wow, that's mm -hmm. amazing. I almost burst into that's... tears, but I probably did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very, very cool. That's yeah. awesome. So, mm -hmm. Magic Kingdom is definitely yeah. your your favorite. And top tip is that like, if you've got any uh, experiences booked, get them booked in early. So, yeah. if something bad happens, they can you can do it again later in your trip, which even is a great. If, even your favorite fireworks show, because earlier in that trip. We fortunately had planned to do, well, it was Wishes in the middle, like it was, we went on a Saturday and flew home on a Saturday and it was the sort of middle Saturday and there was a really bad storm. It wasn't, wasn't a hurricane, it was just rain and they cancelled the fireworks, but we could reshuffle stuff and it was fine. But had again that been at the end of your trip, you're not getting to see. Yeah, exactly, was... exactly. So that's a great, great tip there, people. Mm -hmm. Get your stuff in early. And so... You love Magic Kingdom, as I've said, and, you know, that kind of stuff. But the attractions mm -hmm. side of things, you know, do you have a particular kind of style of favourite kind of attraction that you love or, you know, are you just like, I just love it all? Oh, I do. I, 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 I love thrill rides, but I love Frozen forever after because of the theming. You know, there's... It's, there's nothing that I wouldn't go on in Disney except maybe that although it's gone, that Stitch one was horrible I hated it <laughs> put me on any roller coaster put me on the Star Flyer, put me on the, 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 the anything the Stitch thing with that thing I don't like jumpy out things right, so <laughs> Stitch's Great Escape was oh. the, the scourge of our Disney trip I tell you, I uh, we went on it the very first time and I, you know my kids just thought it was the worst thing in the world. It like, is. They literally <laughs> thought it was a complete waste of space. And, you know, so we kind of like refer everything that's bad as Stitch's Great Escape. So, uh, you know. I mean, I, yeah. did go, I did go on it as the alien thing before, and that was even worse. I thought something was going to burst through the wall. <laughs> I was like, and you couldn't move because of those things on your shoulder. Oh, those things, no. yeah, absolutely, oh. absolutely. Yeah, well, there you go. So, yeah. um, is it just Disney stuff that you like, or you, you know, do you oh, have a I... passion for like Universal and what kind oh, of yeah. stuff Universal do you oh, love? I love Universal and I love like Harry Potter. I love the Hulk. Um, I'm not a big fan of Rip Ride Rocket just because it's so jerky. Um, I love. I like Kong, even Kong. You know, I like, I do. There's nothing. I mean, the Harry Potter rides are just absolutely. I mean, like I was almost speechless when I came off them. Right, yeah, but I haven't exactly, been on the Hagrid yeah. one though. Um, right, that wasn't open. But the Harry Potter ones, I've got a video of me just going, "Wow, I don't know what to say." Wow. So we're, as we're on as we're on attractions and mm -hmm. stuff, Noah's asked a question earlier. Uh -huh. You know, what's your opinion on the new Jurassic Park roller coaster coming to Adventure Island? Do you, have you seen the footage of that? I think some new came out today. Yeah, I haven't watched it, <laughs> but I like the look of what I have seen. Right. I th I just love the music from Jurassic Park. I think that the idea of it is really good, um, and I am excited to try it at some point. Um, but they, in my next trip, I plan just to do it, Disney. It looks high. It uh -huh. looks high. I know, like, I'm not a heights guy. I mean, I don't oh, mind really? doing. Oh, I don't mind like you know stealth at Fall Park. I can come. Oh just yeah, about yeah, it. yeah. But, but you know, I I don't know how high it is. I'm sure Danny will probably tell us in a minute and <laughs> tell us how high it is. But um, you know, I yes, it does look quite. It looks pretty. It looks really good. It looks really good. I'm yeah, looking well, forward I to like, it. I, mean, and, I do uh, like thrill rides. So yeah. So, oh my life. Check this out. Just time I bought it. Oh, really? Oh, Danny. It's just awful. Mind you, he could have been quite small. He's been, you know, a million times. 
Right. So he might indeed. think quite, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> there you go. So, I mean, I think there's a lot of love for the Harry Potter rides uh, on the yeah. chat. So, yeah, I mean, no, we think they are, it's an incredibly themed place. Um, so, okay. So let's get on to your hints and tips for people's next Florida trips to see what Claire has to say about this. So somebody's planning their trip for the very, very first time. Mm -hmm. What would you say your top couple of tips are for, you know, that very first trip? Um, I ad admit that you can't do it all unless you're going for six months um, because you can't, you really can't be aware of just how much there is, you know, take into account the fact that, well, most of the Disney parks you can't do in a day you can probably, I would say, you could probably do Universal and do both of those parks. But then if, if you're wanting to do the water parks as well, I mean, like, for example, I haven't done any of the existing water parks in Florida because I haven't had time. Because when you put it up against, could I go to a water park or could I go to a theme park? It, to me, it was always a no brainer. Um, mm. I, I do plan my next trip to go to a water park because they do look amazing. Um, yeah. But you have you have to accept that you're not going to do everything and then like look at what there is available and choose what you want to do the most. Um, yeah, definitely. Because yeah, I mean, I haven't been to SeaWorld since 1999. Um, I haven't been to Kennedy Space Center since 2007. And it's not because I don't want to go. It's because I don't have time when I'm there. You just have to yeah. prioritize. So, um, so prioritizing and making sure you don't try and do everything. I think that's mm -hmm. a really great, great tip because the, the burnout is real um oh, yeah. and we've, we've all done it so. yeah yeah we've all done it um you know and so you know trying to kind of make time in the middle of the day actually for mm -hmm. a bit of a rest and a pool time is actually mm -hmm. kind of key anything else yeah. you recommend for that person that's plan planning their their, their well, first trip and it's kind of what like dale and jen touched on this last week and it's the whole walking thing you know if you're a desk job and you're going to Florida for two weeks. I mean, I, I, I averaged 25,000 steps one day in Florida walking around Epcot. And if you're sitting down all day, every day, and then you get on a plane and you fly to Florida, if you want to enjoy it, make sure you're going out for walks over in the UK before you get out there to build mm. up the stamina. Um, and also, I always buy, like they do, the trainers a couple of months before I go and wear that when I'm going out for my walk so that when I get to Florida, I don't have as bad a sore foot as as I would. <laughs> yeah, still absolutely. Sore feet. <laughs> absolutely. Um, we've all kind of done that. I mean, uh -huh. I've, no, I've done that. I've bought a brand new pair of trainers, not uh -huh. worn them until you get out there and then it's uh -huh. like, so uh yeah, yeah we've all sure. we've all been there we've all yeah it's it's a compete yeah. compete right, again <laughs> compete coming, coming up again so uh, you know good <laughs> trainers to Florida without it. <laughs> don't, don't go too don't go too mad on mm -hmm. your first trip um mm -hmm. so, so apart from mm -hmm. your passport and your money uh-huh you got oh, know what are your key three items to pick that you okay. pack in your in your your case so not my passport or my money no right are we talking like practical things like sun cream? Things that you have to take. You have to take. Yeah. Well, for I have your to take my food. phone, my mobile yeah. phone for okay. checking fast passes and and photos and checking wait times and all that sort of stuff and all the other stuff that you use your phone for. I'd say that would be a priority. Sun cream, if you're gonna tell me that I can't take sun cream, because I would I fry. I absolutely right. fry. Mm -hmm. Um and my camera. <laughs> Sounds like really sensible things to pack. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean my like video camera. Yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Very, very cool. Okay. So this question actually was asked uh, in the chat. And mm -hmm. so I'm gonna find it and bring it up. Hopefully if I can. Uh, no, it's going go to call it Iowa anyway. sketchers. <laughs> <laughs> So, you could recommend, okay. um, so you've got one one restaurant that you can recommend. Where would it be um, and why? Um, just instant, my instant reaction to that one um, would be the Boathouse at Disney Springs um, because I had okay. the most amazing meal there. Um, it got cancelled in the 2016 trip thanks to Hurricane Matthew. So I had, had waited a long time to go there 
Um, and I just really enjoyed the meal. And I thought the atmosphere was great. I loved Disney Springs. Um, it was a great way to relax. I just really enjoyed it. I think like be a guest and all the theme restaurants were awesome as well, but the food was really good in the boathouse. You know, I mean, the food was brilliant compared to like the other places maybe okay. Sure. I mean, can you remember what you had at the boathouse? I'm pretty sure I had a steak. <laughs> right. But it definitely so, wasn't fish. Let's just say that. Okay. So what was it I'm so glad you said that because my daughter Evie said that the boathouse steak was the very best steak she's ever had in her, mm. at that point, mm -hmm. 14, 14, 13 or 14 years of life. I think it's probably she was 13 at that point. Uh, uh -huh. But absolutely loved that steak. And like, uh -huh. you know, you know when somebody's really enjoying their food and they're just kind of like, oh, yeah, that's really nice. She was just like like in heaven with that steak. Uh -huh. So I, yeah. I'm so glad you said that. I'm so glad you said that. That's <laughs> awesome. So Boathouse, I, I, I enjoyed the Boathouse. I had the baked Alaska. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, yeah. Well, I've seen it on videos and it looks amazing. But is it not massive? Have you not got to share it? It's, 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 yeah, it's a foot tall. It takes them five days yeah. to make. Well, um, you see, I, I mean, I, I'm not someone who likes puddings. I don't really eat puddings. But the one thing okay. I will eat is a baked Alaska. And in actual fact, that's the one thing they always do on a cruise. And right. it's one pudding. I eat ice cream the entire time. Um, but a baked Alaska, I love a baked Alaska. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be honest and say it wasn't the best baked Alaska I'd ever had, despite the fact that it takes five days to make. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and the other thing that you have to, you have to be top tip people, the other thing you have to be wary of, because the way they make it and it's so big, they mm -hmm. wrap the ice cream in cling film. Oh, and in, yeah. And invariably they can't get all the, all the cling film, up, film off. So you get, you get, sometimes little bits of clean film in with your ice cream so just be very careful that people i found at least three or four bits of, of clean film <laughs> while I was doing, while I was doing that. so you know there you go that's uh so that's absolutely oh. brilliant so outside the main park so you've been to disney mm -hmm. you've been to orlando you know what what's the other thing that you saw on your must-do list well I, I would say um of well every trip would be Finland shopping outlets. Okay. I have to go there. Um, it's just, it's just yeah. bargains. It, that that seemed, that came up last week as well. And, uh -huh. and but it, in all honesty, is it is there still bargains to be had now? Well, the last time I went, I am um, the last twice I went, I got a really, really, really affordable North Face jacket for me, and then I got one for my brother the second the, the, the next time I went. Cool. Um, so yeah, I would say so. Nice. Um, I think really that was good. the best bargain I got. Awesome. Other than that, I like wee things in the Disney shop. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> no, that's really cool. So, last of these these questions, uh, your uh, your hints and tips, your three mm -hmm. absolute must dos when you go to Florida. Uh, um, happily ever after, would be number one. Because it just would be very wrong not to go. Um, I'd have to go to Epcot and spend a, some time in Epcot. Um, and third thing, um, I'd like to think that I could ride Flight of Passage again. I'd be really, 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 I've only been on it once um, and I'd be really, really disappointed if I didn't get a flight of passage. Okay. Cool. As long as I had to well, wait six hours to get on it. Uh, uh, yeah, I think <laughs> I think you're going to be okay, to be honest with you. I think, uh, I don't think, oh, I mean, who knows when we get, get to go back over there, they might. <laughs> it, could to, be, it could be like an old fashioned ride. <laughs> it might, yeah, who knows? <laughs> it could be. But, uh, you know, here's hoping that there won't be six hour queues uh, for, for uh, flight of passage. Um, I think it's probably, uh, Rise of the Resistance is obviously the, the, yeah. the main attraction now so hopefully everybody's going over to Hollywood Studios so that'll be <laughs> awesome so Claire we're getting nearly to the end coming to the end now of our, our little chat and thank you so much for doing it but before thank you we go we've got 10 quick fire questions oh. so first thing that comes into your head okay. and 
okay, so I'm going to r- rattle these off quite quickly. So okay. let's see what we c- we come up with. So here we go. Walt Disney World or Universal Studios? Disney Indie World. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tower of Terror or Haunted Mansion? Seeing as you did that in the quiz the other day. Oh, that's evil. Uh, Tower of Terror, because it's more of a thrill, mind. Cool. Mickey's Not So Scary or Halloween Horror Nights? Oh, that Mickey's Not So Scary. You can pay me to do Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, I don't know whether you've been to either of these, but IHOP or Denny's. I think you mentioned Denny's earlier. I've been to Denny's. I've actually been to Denny's in Glasgow, but apparently it shut recently. But yeah, Denny's. Oh, okay. Uh, Disney Springs or iDrive? Disney Springs. UK Pavilion or Japan Pavilion? Um, oh, really? Oh, Lewis, that's nasty. I know. <sighs> I do love the Japan Pavilion. Oh, is it like Japan? Because like, the UK one is England. <laughs> Fair enough. I have seen <laughs> Scottish shortbread there, though, so, you know. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> and there's a wee Scottish stall at Food and Wine. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Too right, too right. Uh, okay, Fantasmic or Illuminations? Oh, Fantasmic. Uh, monorail, monorail or Ferry Boat? Oh, oh well, um, Ferry Boat. Very cool. Now, I've changed this one because I know from the one of the, the answers that I, I options I gave last week, you don't like. So, Mickey Pr- Pretzel or Churro? A churro. I know what it was. It was the dough whip. Oh, <laughs> I bought a dough whip to get ten percent off in the world of Disney. So that's why I bought it. And the guy went, "I bought the solely bought it to get ten percent off because I'd heard that you got this receipt." And the guy went, "There you go." And he got my receipt. And he screwed up. I went, "No, I want my receipt." <laughs> to iron it out to get the ten percent off. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. Well, here's your final final one. Pandora or Wizarding World of Harry Potter? Oh, oh, no, that, Lewis, that is a nasty question. It's not, and we're not here to be easy. It's not here. To... <laughs> I mean, oh, Harry Potter. Even oh, the same flight passage. Controversial, controversial. Well, it is. yeah, absolutely. So, Claire, thank you so much. Have you got a any kind of plans for future trips at the moment and you know what you know if you have what are you looking forward to doing the most i i would like to hope that i was getting back to florida in 2022 so ideally i'm planning for the end of october into november um it will probably be a solo trip and um i'm going to stick to disney just disney Okay, very cool. Well, I really, I really hope you get there. Um, I'm sure you will. Um, this is just a bit of love that's been given out, given oh, out to you. Thank you, Paula. Brilliant once again. Um, I'm sure everybody else will echo that it's been. <laughs> like, apparently, apparently, I'm really. Apparently, I'm really mean. You are. Hey, hey. Uh, what can I say? Well. <laughs> Like really get... out of the ball. <laughs> I mean, you I could have Star get... Wars versus. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, maybe next time I'll do that. So, uh, anyway, Claire, thank you so much for being thank our guest this this uh, this Tuesday, it's, and for your Florida adventures, I've enjoyed myself. So, you know, obviously, you, your channel is Discop, but do, uh, please do let everybody know how they can contact you and 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 you know connect oh, with no. you. Like, wait to make, like, remember my social media stuff. Disco underscore com, I think, on Twitter. It's all goes got Disco on it. Disco underscore UK on Instagram. Disco on Facebook and Disco on YouTube. But I think pretty much most of them caught the YouTube thing last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Or maybe, you know, you know, because this is going out on YouTube and then people yeah. can just, you yeah. know, Tune in and, and and find you. So maybe you want might want to put it into the, the all your links in the comments uh, section, yeah, and okay. people can find, okay. find you. That'd be awesome. But thank you very much for being on your Florida adventures, and uh, 
you know, I look forward to speaking to you again in the future. I'm sure we'll, well, uh, you know, you. we will too. And uh, it's been yeah. really been a really great evening. So thanks so much. Thank you, Lewis. No oh, worries. So there we go, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, if you'd like to connect with the show, if you'd like to be on the show, you know, we've got some great guests being lined up for you over the next couple of uh, next few weeks. But if you would like to come on and talk about your Florida adventures, please do in touch uh, by email or drop drop me a message. Uh, that would be absolutely awesome. Also, if you would like to um, talk to me about your future Florida holidays, I would absolutely love to speak to you. Uh, and you can do that by contacting me via um, by Facebook or on the Your Great Adventures uh, Facebook page or through Lewis at Your Great Adventures Co. UK. Um, I package up holidays much like most of the high street travel agents do uh so you're fully able to bonded at all protected packages uh virgin flights ba flights fillers hotels whatever you want uh i can do that for you and i'm very excited to tell you uh, sorry i've just got to put this up because i know this is my daughter well done lad there you go um so and I'm very excited to tell you that next week I will be joined by the one, the only Danny Perrin. Uh, so next uh, next Tuesday, the 2nd of February at two at 7.30, not 2.30, 7.30 p.m. Uh, I'll be joined by Danny. And that is going to be a great show because what that guy doesn't know about uh, Florida and Disney uh, is really not worth worth knowing so uh do get in contact uh and, and do watch the show next week and ask all your questions of danny um thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed the show please send out a link uh or you know subscribe to the channel as well that would be awesome uh and send out a link to the channel let people know that you've been watching and we just want to help people you know help people have the best florida time in florida so Join us next week with Danny uh, and uh, have a great week. Have an amazing week. And just remember, your adventure is out there. Have a good one, guys. Take care.